Many know me as Vice, the DJ collecting travel miles around the world, rocking clubs night after night. What you may not know is that I'm a native Angelino, self-described foodie, people connector, and enjoy driving new friends to experience the come up on some good tacos in the city I proudly call home. From the valley to the west side to everywhere in between, this is Electric Taco. I think we got him. Is it open? Yeah. I didn't know where the handle was. <laughs> What's up? What up? Pasquale, welcome to Electric Taco. Thanks for having me. It's I'm been, hungry. Yes, it's been some time that uh, we've been trying to connect, so I'm, I appreciate your time and putting this uh, this scheduled time apart just to eat tacos, though. I mean, the, the, the ride and the talking and all that's just the bonus, but... Tacos is the main attraction that we're after. I'm ready. I'm, I'm hungry. gonna. I gotta think about it all morning. I gotta ask you something though, off the jump. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I what was I, What was your? I, I take it you're pretty healthy right now. So, what I'm, was your breakfast? I'm trying. I I, uh, I had a smoothie. You had a smoothie. Yeah. That's it. That's. Oh, you know what? I had some caviar. Some caviar. Some salmon eggs. Ah, uh, okay. So that is that a norm for you, or I that's was, like? I j it was my first morning trying it. I, I was told <laughs> that it's super healthy for you. I didn't love. I didn't love it, but okay. I just downed it with some water. Is it good? I've never had caviar. No, it. As fancy as it we are. Good. I, I'm not fancy, <laughs> and I've never had caviar. It was but, my first time ever. That's crazy. I'm glad that we're setting this precedent up for everybody. Like, oh, that's what Pasquale does. No. He wakes up and eats caviar. <laughs> if there's anything that we can do besides our late nights and traveling and all that is we could be healthy because I, I want to say it. I'm pretty sure I'm right on this. That it's not about us anymore. It's about our kids that we got to be healthy for. That's right. Yes. Yeah. No. I wanna. I wanna have a long life. I wanna be there for my kids. And I want to be able to keep doing what I love without, you know, worrying about um, my health. Right. You know, so you travel a lot. I'm grateful. Yeah, I travel a lot. But this is really what I love. I want to get tacos. I you don't want to get tacos. I, I, you know, that's where, that's where I feel at home. Where you know? is um? Because you are LA. You are. I, I take it you're born and raised Los Angeles, that, right? Yeah, born and raised. You're born in Glendale, raised where? Born in Glendale, lived in Eagle Rock when I was nice. really young, then moved to the west side, Venice. I bounced around between Venice. I was in Pacific Palisades for um, a big part of my life as okay. well. I was raised in Eagle Rock my whole life. Um, I never even knew the Palisades existed till later in life. Because I feel like it's this hidden little gem of LA that's like tucked away, right? I mean, it was a culture shock for me to go to the Palisades when I was going from Venice to the Palisades. Yeah. But my parents worked real hard, and, and they uh, we got a place there, a house. It was ninety thousand dollars at the time. <laughs> and uh, that's big money, though. That, Back then, yeah, that's that's like I mean, like to make it at that point. Yeah, because my parents are immigrants. Immigrants. Yeah. Are you first generation? I'm first uh, generation. You're born. born you're born America. here. You're that's born right. here. Your parents. My are born. sisters born in Italy. I was born here. Wow, okay. So same for me, my parents are, my dad's born in Mexico, my mom was born in LA, so it makes me, I guess, first generation as well. But you can actually speak Italian. Si, <laughs> if I would say, I don't, non troppo bene. I understand mo most Italian, I, I, I understand all by. of it. Well, no, I understand all of it, but speaking it, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm not as good as I want to be. But if you someone threw you in Italy for a week or two, you'd be like, okay, I got this. Like, oh, we're, yeah. we're back. I, yeah. I got it down. What was the first party you went to? Like, not that you threw everything. Someone just said, hey, let's go to this party. Like, give a first memorable party or event. So the first, I, the first party I ever went to was in downtown Los Angeles at a venue called La Casa. And my mind was blown. Did you know where you were going, or did you hear about it? Because there's no internet. There's no. There's nothing to like learn about this place. You're just right. thrown into like, hey, let's go check this out. Well, I thought I knew where I was going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because they, they were my friends, which we have we have, we have a lot of friends, friends actually. Am. Okay. DJ Am, um, Seth. Yep. Uh, Crazy the, Town. Back from Crazy Town. Yep. And uh, this dude named Jesse, graffiti writer named Seer. They took me, and I was at Seth's house. We were at Seth's house, and they were so hyped, and they were they were picking out like rubber daisies, and they had big top top hat on. Think about they, this: a bunch of dudes, over. a bunch of dudes like and it's so hyped though, right? Yeah, and we were from the 
graffiti scene. Yeah. You're skateboarders, you're surfers, you know, and they're fighting over a rubber daisy, and then, you know, who's who going to get what top, top hat? Yeah. And I was, I didn't understand what they were doing, <laughs> you know, I was just going with the flow, but as soon as I walked through the doors, I got it, man, I loved you it. You felt it. It was, was life-changing for me. Just, when you're in that event, is it already clicking, like, this is what I want to do, I want to, I want to create this energy, or like... Or are you just hanging out? Has it clicked yet? Like from the first jump, if you're in this? When I when I first got there, I felt at home the, the second I was there. I mean, I grew up, a lot of my childhood and a lot of my inspiration came from being on the Venice boardwalk in the, in the 80s. Right. There were people down, there were so many different kinds of people down there expressing their individuality, dancing, there was music everywhere, there was performers, there was artists, there was freaks, there was all that, yeah. all on Venice Boardwalk. I really, you know, I loved break dancing as a kid, that's what I used to do on the okay. boardwalk. So when I walked into my first underground event and hearing dance music for the first time, because I never heard it, I didn't hear it on the radio or no one played any shit for me before yeah. I, I heard it when walking through the doors. And my mind was just blown. It, it was hip hop to me, which yeah. is gonna sound crazy, but the hip hop that I loved a lot was Africa Bombada Soulsonic Force, and Soul yeah. Sonic Force and um, Nucleus with Jam on it, yeah. and that was dance dance music. Pre, yeah, freestyle. So Trenier was even like, like yeah, even like, Herbie Hancock Herbie Rocket, Rocket was played on the yeah. Sport, Venice Boardwalk and. People were pop locking and break dancing, and you know it was part of hip hip hop, hip -hop culture. Yeah. And I grew up really deep in with hip hop, loving hip hop. Um, my oh, our taco spots here. Hold on, it auto drove itself. <laughs> All right, you the auto drove right now. No, I didn't. Oh. Auto -drove. <laughs> Let's get some tacos. Let's do it. How are you feeling after uh, how many let's let's I'm full that was so grub though so let's good. count how many times let's keep it real though we went vegan on this That's electric right. taco yeah which uh i am not mad at because if a lot of people that are maybe the taco fans that watch this might say oh that's not real tacos these were bomb tacos that was real that was that real was real that like, was real that crunchy one was on another level yes. that was good it tastes like We're real good. chorizo and and the uh, jackfruit. That's what it's a jackfruit that they use in it. The jack. Those are the two top ones. Yes. Two favorites for sure. The jackfruit tacos. Do I'd you have back. when when was that? I'd go back. Yeah, hundred percent. Gracias, mother was on point. Is there an event that like flipped the light switch on for you and you're like, I can do this? Well, it was actually the opposite. Um, it wasn't an event that I went to that made me feel like I could do this. Yeah. It was. It was. It was when the scene had completely died. There was nothing going on, and I said, I have to do this. I love that. My best memories of being at parties is being on the floor. Because being in the crowd with everyone and just the energy is a different energy than being talent on a stage. Did the struggle ever hit you to that point where you're like, I want to tap out? There was a couple times that maybe I had those experiences where things got that tough. Yeah. But I never said, I'm moving on. I never really... I, I, I asked myself the question. Yeah. I really knew that I never wanted to stop. Right. But out of frustration, that was me, you know, just venting. Right. But it, it was never real. First of all, we didn't start doing this for money. I, I already know you didn't do this. You didn't do this. You didn't say, I want to throw this event. You haven't mentioned the word money once. I have you noticed that you've never said, yeah, like it was so profitable, my first gig, yeah, my first 300 person show. You just said, I got 300 people there. Well, I was 
I was a non-profit organization for, for over, you know, almost almost two decades. Just because there's... Or a it, decade and a half, yeah. roughly, you know, and that was, I mean, it was hard because you didn't have money for food, you didn't have, and then you put your heart and soul into stuff, and things would go wrong because, you know, you didn't get any support from the city, you didn't have venues to use, Yeah. you know, the, the media was after you, the government was after you, whatever it was. And it wasn't because you didn't put all your all into it. Right. It was because, you know, they, they took your permits away or, you know, so it was a yeah. constant s- struggle, but we always got through it. And the fans, we, the fans in this, in this scene and in this culture are the best fans in the world. There's so much depth in history to like getting to that point. And it's always so good to hear that. But to know that how much work has been put and the road to get to this point, it's it's work to get to that. You didn't just open these doors and everyone's flooding into these events. So it's always good for, like we talked about, you know, having kids at this age now, and, and to always to preach this, like that there is going to be a struggle. There's going to be knockdowns. There's going to be there's going to be roads that are blocked, and you're going to have to figure out how to get around them for for that your for your true happiness of what you want, right? Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. And I learned from those things and it made me stronger. Yeah. And you can just never give up. You know, that's something that um, is really important. And the, the only way you'll get through it all is if you're that passionate. Right. You have to yeah. love it that much. Is there, are you like, is there a part of you, like, do you read books? We talked about podcasts earlier. Like, is is your, what is your brain food? I like to ask that. Like, do you have a brain food? For right now, really, it's um, the experience of surfing. Right now, that's been therapeutic for me. It's been amazing. It's kind of so like you can't, cool. you can't speed up the ocean. It's not up to you. You can't get it. You can't get what you want. Like when you're going through concerts, you can make the moves. All right, let's change this. Let's change that. But then when you get on the water, it's not up to you when that wave's gonna come, right? No, you have to. You're you out of control. The, you go with the flow of the ocean. And it's um, it's beautiful out there. I like going um, as the sun's setting. I'm gonna take you up on that offer and go surfing with you soon. Please, dude. It's it's been a pleasure. I have a. I I feel that like uh. We've realized that we probably have, outside of all the parties we've been to together and, and nights out, we probably have crossed paths at a younger, younger age before we were even like Glass doing what we're doing now. Glass Out Park, yeah. Eagle Rock. We might have been at the same taco truck. Pasquale, Rotella. Is it Pasquale? Should I say it right? It's Pasquale. Pasquale. Rotella, but people Rotella. say Pasquale. Pasquale, Rotella. Rotella. With Rotella. <laughs> My brother, you, many it's, more taco it's, journeys together. It's, uh, we're going surfing next. Surfing right. and, and uh, jackfruit tacos. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Electric taco, we're a wrap. Pasquale. Hey, what's up? It's Vice. Thanks for watching Electric Taco. More episodes to come. More feedback from you is what I need. Comment, like, subscribe, hit me, and I'll hit you with a thousand tacos for life every day, free. No charge. Just kidding. Or not.